This year, in partnership with our friends at Farm Journal's Milk Magazine, we're profiling some of the most progressive dairy farmers in the country. Well, today, we introduce you to a producer in California diversifying his operation, not just because of lower milk prices, but because of the challenges he faces farming in the Golden State. Betsy Gibbon has our September Milk Magazine cover story. This is one of the better offices, a good view. Take a ride with California dairy producer Greg Hooker. This sorghum takes about two-thirds of the water as corn. From sorghum to solar energy, you'll see signs of diversification out every window. My dairy itself uses about one megawatt a year. The rest of the power is used to pump groundwater for the crops. Pieces of the business lining the road to his main investment, a 4,500 head Holstein dairy. It's an industry he married into and the reason he started farming. So my joke is, how did I end up in California? I tell everybody, a woman brought me here. Greg met his wife Jennifer at a college in Michigan. The two moved back to California near her parents' dairy after graduation. He made the transition from engineer to dairy producer with the help of her family. Really what mechanical engineering or engineering does is just it teaches you a problem solving process and it gives you skills in problem solving. And any dairymen know there's plenty of problems to be solved on a dairy on a day-to-day -day basis. Greg really hasn't changed. Ultimately, he has wanted to be a farmer his whole life. I joke that he fell in love with me when he found out my dad had a dairy farm. And maybe there's some truth to that. But <laughs> after renting a facility, the two bought property in Chowchilla, California, and created Diamond H Dairy. Buying was easy. Getting a permit was a challenge. The process took several years and multiple lawsuits, one even finding its way to the California Supreme Court. I understand there needs to be regulations to, to organize and structure society and, and industries and regulations that actually do protect the environment instead of just create days worth of paperwork. Good morning. Once approved, they built in phases. Today they melt cows on two side-by-side -side parlors. One a double 34 herringbone, the other a double 45 parallel. In order to milk a few more cows, give us a little more time, we decided to put in the, uh, the parallel on this side. His herd averages 90 pounds per cow per day. They milk three times a day. Through the success of expanding. The fan's been working okay. Challenges of operating a dairy in California are lingering. Pricing is one of them. Craig says hedging is helping. It's just kind of a major medical plan is what it is. I don't try to make money at it. We shoot for having about 50% of our, our milk covered uh, by the time that quarter comes. He uses the margin protection program, but Greg says it's not exactly geared for California farmers. The, the way they, they value milk and value feed, it's a Midwest calculation, which is very different from California. But like a Midwest operation, Greg tries to grow most of his own feed on 2,500 acres. In fact, part of his long-term diversification plans include going into the almond business. Uh, the almonds coming off has, has balanced out the milk check at times and vice versa. He says many producers are following suit and it comes with a bonus. This is the hull and it's actually the fruit and this is what cows will eat. He's also making investments in a new Valley milk powder plant in Turlock, California, a product that will ship worldwide. When we were looking at it, uh, you know, powder was the way to go. Uh, there, it was very profitable. But maybe Greg's largest investment is in the future, a legacy he could pass down to his kids, all six of them. We have quadruplets that are 18 years old, and we have twins that are 14, almost 15 years old. So It's really my hope that they continue on in that, um, at least some of them. That's the goal, and it drives Greg every day as he works to sustain a future during these fluid times in California. You just stick with it, and tomorrow will be better than today. Reporting for Ag Day, I'm Betsy Chippen.